Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. All right, so it's Vlogmas, and I think I'm sticking with this every other day thing. <laughs> I actually filmed yesterday, but it was a uh, it was low energy friend, and I was like, I'm not bringing them low energy. So I came on today to share some stuff with you all. I did get uh, two packages that um, from some stuff I ordered from Black Friday, some fragrances. I ordered um, <laughs> something from another company. Damn, got it, girl. It ain't even shipped yet. <sighs> not the first time. And then um, yeah, I'm gonna link everything down below. Um, shout out to the two winners uh, from the other day, which was Tuesday, and that was for the uh, Dossier fragrance, and that is the imitation or inspired by Gabrielle uh, Chanel, and then the one for the Bronze Goddess. Um, yeah, so it would have been this one and this one right here. Well, am I stringing a package? This one. And then this package right here of Dossier. So it will go out in the mail on tomorrow. I knew I wasn't going to be able to go today. So it's all good. And this one is Floral Ylang Ylang. So that will go out. And um, I purchased that uh, for Black Friday. Which I already know that. Because I showed you all um, my Black Friday uh, purchases pretty much. And was telling you all you can use the discount code. And you will get more off. Now listen. Dossier has these sets now. Um, I'm going to put them here with the regular price is, but they're on sale for like a hundred bucks, y'all. They're knocking off pricing, right? They also have the sets going on that you can buy before December 13th, so you can get in time for Christmas, okay? Um, and it's like the candle and the fragrance, so you're going to want to get on that. I'm just saying. I was like, I just want to try one of the candles, right? Like, after you've tried all the fragrances and you bought all the deals, I was like, why didn't I buy candles for Black Friday? off of Dossier to try them out. They're not like your regular, normal fragrances that you would normally smell, right? Or pick up at like Bath and Body Works and whatnot. These are like designer slash niche fragrance candles. Like what? <laughs> Y'all know how much those candles are. If you don't know, the average candle, let's say like uh, Spice Bomb, they may throw it on sale for $50, $60, but it's normally like $90, $100. Um, top fours are like 110, 120. Like these candles can be like really expensive. So to have them on Dossier, I thought, mm, okay. So Dossier has put together these like bestseller sets. And I think if you buy them individually, they're like 127 borderlining. Like I said 127. This is what it says. But if you buy them now on sale, throw a discount on there, girl. I think you pay like 107. So you're going to get a discount. Then they also have... Um, another set on there as well and that's the winter set winter fragrance set so yeah so if you don't know like say you just don't know like what fragrances to buy for spring and winter or summer they have a winter set there girl already ready for you all you have to do is click throw it in your basket and purchase all right so let me go through the ones i did purchase from dossier um first and then we're gonna get into these other ones so this one is Floriental Tuberose. Um, I don't know the card for this one. This one is the one um, from Diptyque Inspired um, Doson, I believe, D-O-S-O-N. I want this so bad. I would love to try Diptyque fragrances. Let me know if you have any. But this one right here, y'all, is so pretty. It is a very beautiful green tuberose. Y'all, this is so pretty. I know. This is going to know y'all. Magnetic tops. They do it to me all the time. I'm just saying. So I got that one. That one's actually, that one is actually on my perfume tray for December. It smells so good. Even though I think it's year round, but it's refreshing, right? So like today, it was like 80 degrees. And so that's a really good refreshing fragrance. Even though today, my fragrance of the day is... Coco Vanille from Mancera. That's how hot it is. <laughs> I'm just saying. So I got another one. This one is inspired by Gabrielle Chanel. I actually bought two of these. So I have one for me and one for, um, I forgot her name. That one. <laughs> but y'all, look at this. So I told you I want Gabrielle Essence. And so I'm going to try to get that one. Um, I guess, um, 
maybe after Christmas. I might wait after Christmas. Around January, February, do another one of those family and friends sales or whatever. So I'm trying to get the Gabrielle Essence for now. But this smells so good. Let me tell you, I was on Dossier that day when I was buying all these fragrances. And I was like, man, like, come on now, Louis Vuitton inspired, Killian inspired, the Love Don't Be Shy inspired. Like, come on. Now, I don't have Love Don't Be Shy, the original fragrance, but I did get the um, inspirational fragrance um, from Dossier. Um, if you have, girl, this smells so good. This lasts so long, too. When I smell it out the bottle, it reminds me of Mancera's uh, Velvet Vanilla. So if you have Velvet Vanilla and you have Love Don't Be Shy, let me know what you think. I'm not mean Velvet Vanilla on the dry down, okay? But this right here smells so freaking good. So this is on my perfume tray too for December. Why is this so sweet? So Velvet Vanilla is syrupy sweet, like a, like beast mode sweet. But this is good and it lasts a long time. Um, look at this. This is from Black Friday. <laughs> I've been spraying. Y'all, I don't know what y'all waiting on. And, but for those who missed the dossier sale, for real, you can uh, go get the kits. Get the, the, get the set. Use the discount code on top of that and save your money. And you'll be close to like that Black Friday sale. You'll be close. Not quite because you shouldn't have slept on it. I'm just saying. And it does come in a box like this with the sample bottle. You try the bottle first if you don't want or don't like the fragrance, just send it back. But um, I like the minimal packaging because you can just recycle these boxes. Um, I just saw a friend of mine move recently and she had to put all her fragrances back in the boxes to move. And I was like, but where in the world would I store these? I guess I could flatten them and just put them in like a container and put them in my attic or something. But um, I normally recycle all my boxes. But this one right here is inspired by Marc Jacobs. Perfect. I'm holding on to this because I sprayed this once. I'm going to spray it again. But I was I was thinking about giving it away. This smells so good. Um, Marc Jacobs Perfect has this lychee. It was not lychee. It's rhubarb, orange blossom, and peach. It's so juicy. When you first spray it, just makes your mouth water as if you have like one of those peach colored. Um, what's the candy? Jolly Ranchers in your mouth. It smells that good. It smells that good. It has cedar wood. It has musk. Milky Accord. Narcissus. Oh my God. I didn't know it smelled this good. I told you all I've never really been a Marc Jacobs fan. Only because of that other one that smells like pickles. But this smells so good. This smells so good. So I'm going to hold on to it. Until I get the other one. I'm going to order the other one. Is it the Intense or something? That people are saying it has that almond note. If I like that one, then it's, it'll be between the two, which one I give away. Because I definitely want to do another giveaway before Christmas hits. Um, on these fragrances or whatever. So, yeah. But I'm keeping the Gabrielle. And the one that says Love Don't Be Shy. I'm keeping it. And then, of course, I already told you all I got this one for Christopher. I don't know if I told you all. I think I did. Um, on that other video. And this is the one where he um, wanted Blue Chanel, child. And so I still have it. I haven't given it to him. I'm going to give it to him for Christmas to add with his little stock and stuff or stuff. And this one is Citrus Ginger. Girl, this, this smells so good. If you're a woman who likes um, male fragrances that... Um, have a little sweetness to it and a little citrus. You might like this one. This is definitely your clean man. Okay. So get on it. Get on the sales. Let me know what y'all ordered for Black Friday. Because I got a lot of y'all saying y'all got in on the sale. And y'all used the discount and got the extra percentage off. So let me know down below which ones did you order. I think, I don't even know. There's only so many left that for me to try. And there are, no, there are most of those in the men's section. Um, for men fragrances, but yeah, I already know. So, yeah, so that's all I got from Dossier. Thank you, Dossier, so much for sponsoring that portion of the video. All these fragrances I just shared with you, I bought with my own coins because I do still buy from Dossier. Even though Dossier sends me out fragrances for me to try, um, sometimes they see me four and five at a time and they ask me to share my opinion with you all. 
Um, I still patronize them. I still love Dossier. I just think it's an affordable way for those who aren't able to uh, spend a hundred here, two hundred there on fragrances. Killian left on Be Shy is gonna run you around two hundred dollars, one ninety, whatever at best, one eighty. Um, so to have that fragrance of that fragrance, and this one actually lasts long, long, like six, seven hours long, right? Where normally, like, the most inspired fragrances give you three, four hours, unless it's X straight, right? Um, the one that I have that is inspired by Tom Ford, um, Lost Cherry, and what's that other one? Mm, Black Orchid. Nine, ten hours on me. I'm telling y'all, that thing lasts. They smell so amazing. So it's almost like you're getting what you want at a fraction of the cost. And then, you know, especially Black Friday's price. Like, girl, I feel like I feel like I got six fragrances for the price of like one fragrance. I was I'm still shocked. I'm just still shocked. Their Black Friday sale was amazing. Amazing. I told you all on the live the other day that I also ordered some more uh, fragrances. I had, uh, when I went to see my son, I took him a bunch of like fragrances, like um, inspired by Parfum Mr. Marley, the hair one I sent him. Um, I gave him the Oud Wood from Dossier inspired fragrance. He loves that one. Girl, I do too. It, it, it took me. That one and the Santal Labo 33, that took me like, I must have stayed at home and sprayed that three, four times before I said, girl, let him have this. I really like those, but I just think that I'm going to manifest ooh good in my life, so it's all good, but I, I really like the ones from Dossier that I like. Maybe I'll do a top 10 for you all. Definitely the Oud Wood Inspire one. Definitely one that's the um, Jasmine Rouge. Just lost cherry, because the cherry lasts longer than the original one from Tom Ford. Um, the one that's Gabrielle, the one that is in that bottle, in that bottle with the gold around and the ball at the top. I can't think of what it's called. It's an older, it's been, a fragrance that's been around a long time. That one, it smells so close to that fragrance. It's ridiculous. That I've used for so long, I just continue, continue to buy them. So, anyway, let's go through this box right here and see what I picked out. Um, I did go through the fragrances. Like I said, I gave my son the Oud Wood. I gave him um, Santal Labo 33. I gave him the Tom Ford pack of the, the two fragrances. One was um, Black Orchid and one was um something leather what's it called whatever leather right i got that to him i kept suede i i, I couldn't give it all to him i was like come on now but i wanted him to have a you know a decent collection you know you turn 21 you need some stuff in your life so i gave him all those and um yeah then i went online for black friday and was like i want my stuff back that's why I went and ordered some more stuff. Okay, I'm gonna keep it real. I went and ordered some more stuff because I just felt, and I got a lot of um, Arabian um, Middle Eastern fragrances because I just wanted to try them out. I love them, so I want to try them out. <gasps> oh, this might be the wrong one. Now, I tried this fragrance out with you all. And y'all was all in the in the DMs and the messages. We're gonna talk about the DM in a minute too. And y'all was saying how um y'all went online and it was already sold out. Now I'm gonna check again before this go up today. But I found this on Black Friday. Black Friday on Fragrance Buy I had them buy five fragrances. The first three were whatever this little sale price was, right? And then the next two were um 30% off. So I think I probably paid twelve dollars for this, y'all. But listen, I bought this fragrance for twenty dollars, and I told y'all you see the box, so we already know what I'm talking about. We already know it's inspired, right? I bought this fragrance. Girl, I mean, talking about the stick on the back and everything. Baroque. I bought this, and I said, I'm tired. Of, I'm so tired of smelling Baroque Rock Rouge 540, right? Well, when I went to my son's football game, I wore this fragrance, right? And everybody kept saying, oh, my God, you smell so good. Oh, my God. Somebody's wearing 
Baccarat Rouge 540, you know, whatever. Now, when I wear my Amber Oud Rouge, I get a lot of comments. But I think more people are familiar with Baccarat Rouge than the x ray version, right? So, everybody, everybody thought that's what I was wearing. But I wasn't wearing that. And every time my girls leave out the house and they have this on to go to school, they come home, I can still smell them. And I'm thinking, you have got to be kidding me. So... I went ahead and bought my own bottle. I gave them theirs, and I went ahead and bought my own bottle. I'm going to check the site to make sure it's still on there, but um, all you have to do is press the thing for them to email you anyway, and they'll email you. Is this, a, this is like a metal plate. I don't know. But yeah, I went ahead and ordered it, girl. I did. I'm telling y'all, this is so cheap, but this is the closest one so far. Well, it's the, I've tried a couple of them, but this is like the closest one to the original, not the X-ray, but just the original. This is so freaking good. So if you can get this, and this glass is heavy. It's a heavy glass, so yeah. It'll look pretty on your vanity too. So I picked this one up, Black Friday. I also picked up... The All Hermain Amber Oud, but this is the tobacco edition. And I got this one in the um, sample box. The sample box is, uh, I think it was $12 cheaper than the original. Where you get that really nice box packaging. I don't need that. I don't even know where the other ones are. But I had this for all of a day and gave it away. And then I just really wanted it back. So I have it. But I gave it to a male friend of mine. And I got my son one too. But this one, girl. Tom Ford's Tobacco Vanille. Vanille, whatever you call it. This is so good. So this one, I think, was 40 something dollars. I think I paid for this one. I think it was 40 something. I think the last, I think the the ones that were the least expensive were the ones they took the thirty percent off, which is fine by me, y'all. This smells so good. This bottle is so heavy. <laughs> this bottle is extremely heavy. So this is the one with that little burgundy. What's this color? It's not burgundy. This is rose gold packaging. The amber oud rouge is a red packaging. That's the one that you're gonna get if you want the um, extra dupe of, of uh, Baccarat Rouge 540. This smells good. It's just sitting right here. This is like cinnamon and spicy and um, tobacco, but like a sweet tobacco. This is so beautiful. So beautiful. And y'all already know that all her main uh, packaging or, or perfumes, fragrances last forever. So till you wash them off, they're going to last forever. Okay, okay. So I also picked up this. I don't even know what this is. Oh my god, I almost ordered this twice. I'm so glad I didn't click to order. So I got Rock by Wood Intense. This is the one that Lulu likes. I like Rock by Wood, period. Rock by the original. And I normally get that from Amazon. But I saw this was on Fragrance Buy. I know y'all don't like this noise. Oh, well. Uh, I just got it out the porch. So, I got this one. It may have been 20 something dollars, y'all. I was like, oh, let me get this right now. Girl, this packaging just be like so, like, is this slide through? No. Um, they be so cheap, but they pack their, I mean, this pack is so well. Come with a little, little something, something to y'all of this. Girl, let me tell you. I was online on Amazon looking for something, and I saw that they have um, inspired fragrances of Mancera, and girl, my feelings was hurt. I was like, now I can go buy all these other inspired fragrances and do all this other stuff, but I was kind of mad. Like, why y'all gotta do, leave Mancera alone. Leave Mancera alone, please. This bottle is heavy. This is not an inspiration of nothing, just so you know. Oh my God, this smells so good. Okay, so this is like the original. Oh my goodness. 
but stronger. Does it have caramel in it or something? Okay. Um, I don't know what this is. I'm trying to read it, but um, I wonder if it has it on here. It's probably not going to be in English on here either. But uh, oh, it don't matter because the, the writing is so small, a little. But um, yeah, this smells really good. Like really good. Let's hold on a second. Yeah, this has, it's almost like, um, I want to say it have like a liquor in it, like a cognac or something. Yes. Girl, why am I trying to read a whole another language? But I know it's some cinnamon and some incense and stuff up in here. This is what I do know. Oh, wow. Okay, so I like this one. I think this would be good for men and women. I think this would be best on a man. Why does it smell like that? It smells different. I'm going to spray this again. And hold on. Let me spray this on something. And then I'm going to come back and smell it. Well, sure. Maybe I won't. Maybe I won't. Okay, let me just spray a couple times. And I'm going to come back and smell it. Yeah, it's more woody. It's not, it's more woody and more dry. So it's almost like the dry tobacco, whereas the other one is like a sweeter tobacco, oody like something fragrance. This is nice. This is, look at this bottle. Look at the top. The top is heavy. It's I don't know what. I got fingerprints on it. There's some kind of wood in here, child. All right, let's put that brick down. All right, so I can't wait to try this one. Every time they come out with one, I'm going to buy it. Until I get the whole perfume to Molly um, line, which I don't want the whole line. I'm not going to lie. I want um, Delina Exclusive, and I want um, Herod and um, Pegasus. That's all I want. I, I, I just want those three, and the rest is like, all right. But um, I'll get the rest in this one right here. And this is, and I'm about to order Pegasus, actually. This one is Galetia. Galetia? Galetia? So this is inspired by, I forget which one. These boxes be, they be, girl, they didn't put it in the box. It looked like it in everything. See, I know I had the silver one. I forget what the silver one was inspired by. But that one was so good and long-lasting. I was shocked. I saw someone do a video on these compared to the original, and I was like, I was like, wow. Like, that's, and they spray good. Look, they spray good. Wow, this is different. What is that? I don't know if it's the, maybe it's the box. These were only like $13, $14. And then on top of that, I went ahead and, um, yeah, these were like $13, $14. And then on top of that, my discount, right? The 30% off? Really? No, it's this. What is that smell? I wonder if it has cumin at the top. I'm going to let this dry. I'm going to come back and smell it. The top isn't great. But the bottle, the bottle is. It's heavy. Like, extremely heavy. It's different. I can't really describe it. But it smells spicy. Like, uh, food spicy. It's food spicy and paint thinner. I don't know. It's weird to me. So, I have to let it dry down. And then the last one I picked up from there is um, this one right here. I don't know if that was... That had to been one of the ones that was, like, dirt cheap. Because it was already dirt cheap. But I got this one. And this is El Aventure. From all her mane because it is supposed to be a clone of um well let me see I'm gonna make sure I got the right one of something very popular but let me just make sure I think Aventus so that might be why it's called Alt Laventure. The one for women was sold out, but the but Aventus for men, uh I've had the travel spray. It smells good to me. It's loud. It's I don't know what, but it smells good. So this is the packaging. Just slides off. 
<laughs> like Tom Ford packaging. China. Yeah. So this is the bottle. I got the smaller bottle this time instead of a little short fat one. But this is supposed to be the new one. Um, so let's see. Damn, this top is heavy. Wow. Wowzers. Oh, uh, it's the same. It's the same. I'm going to go back online. I think these were 15 bucks. I'm just going to ship it directly to my son. It's the same. Oh, the pineapple, the note in here is amazing. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. This is good. This is good. I love this. This is, this right here was worth the whole order. This one, and um, I don't even remember what I about that says. Oh, the one that's like the Baccarat Roots, the Barack. The Barack. Yeah, you can still smell that. You can still smell it, y'all. This is so good. This is so good. Let me put these here. Let me put these here on my display. I'm going to have to figure out what to do with these boxes. Okay, so this one is not sweet. It's dry. It's spicy. It's dirt, like dirty oody. And it probably has patchouli. I don't know, but it's dirty, like cumin, spicy, dirty. Like, um, yeah, that's weird. That's really weird. Um, I'm gonna have to spray that on my body and see how it works. I still like this. Yeah, I still like this. It has a hint of sweetness behind it, whereas the original Rock Bar is sweeter. So if you like the Rock Bar because it's sweeter, um, just stay with that one. This is more denser, more woody. You, you're going to have to have like a, a nose for like the woody, oody, um, a raven fragrances to like this one. I like it. I like it. But the other one I wear to bed. So I, I can't wear that one to bed. I'm going to put these up here. Out of the way. I really like that one from Dossier that is the Love Don't Be Shy, which means I would really like Love Don't Be Shy. I just want to get this stuff out the way. Hold on, y'all. Then I also purchased a fragrance from um, Venba, V-E-N-B-A. And I told y'all this. I, I filmed this. All right, so my phone is dying. Um, I can't remember if I told you about this one, but this is also a Black Friday uh, deal from Venba, V-E-N-B-A. I think I told y'all V-E-N, but it's V-E-N-B-A fragrances. And often he gets these fragrances where he only has a few to come in. At discount prices and they're normally like niche fragrances now baby if dossier can do a, a little something with these that other company I did a review for I like that one that was um, the leave intense the rest of them I told you I was like so-so about them I just felt like the packaging was like so-so um, but I told you all that um, it just goes to show that I just really like Dossier. There's a, a couple of other, you know, inspired or clone companies like Our Hermaine and all of them. I know how I feel, but I like this, the simple packaging of Dossier Pier. But that other one, I just didn't like the, um, the little roller bottles or the, uh, what's the other one? Or like the little sample. I just didn't like it. I just didn't like it. Um, and plus they wasn't like spot on for me, except for the leave intent. So that go, there's that. But anyway, I did pick up Ani. I think I told you all that. And really and truly, I plan on purchasing um, maybe two more from the brand. Maybe two more fragrances from the brand. And that's it. Not be it. I just want, it's only four of them I want anyway. Yeah. So I'll definitely be purchasing two more. This probably February, March. I got to wait a while because... I'm working on something, y'all. I'm working on something. So that's it. That's everything. I put up a TikTok today. I think I've decided that my Instagram, Helen H Beauty, um, I'll share like all things that smell good, whether it's body care or whatever. And then I, of course, if I do hair reviews, I'll share them there. And um, all the fragrances, like the fragrances I purchased, what I'm wearing, or just random picks, right? So on today, I did one with Mancera, and it's just the fragrances that I currently have in my collection. And then um, I also went a little bit further by saying these are the top five I have in my collection that I like. You know, I love them all. I really do. Um, there's six more I would like to have. I don't have to have them. I think I'm at nine right now. But there is six more that I would like to have. 
Um, a couple, couple of them haven't even hit United States yet. And I'm iffy about ordering from Russia. So, yeah. Because uh, I saw that that's where a few of them were. I still want to get Arabian Tonka from um, Montal. And there are like Roses Parfait. There's a couple of them I want to get from Lancome to Mace Online. I'm just not in a rush to get any of them. Like, I'm just want to enjoy the ones I have, and I have been. Actually, at night, what I've been doing is I've received quite a bit of samples from friends, and um, I've just been trying out samples at night, and then writing down, hmm, like a, a curio from Lulu. I really am enjoying those fragrances. They're kind of expensive, especially for the size of the bottle, but I'm really enjoying those. Um, it's just testing and trying new things. Um, for the people who won those fragrances the other day, I am going to add a few samples in there of some of these um, other fragrances so you can try them out as well. Um, check the community tab by uh, Friday for the winners for the glasses. I have a couple of giveaways that's coming up. One will be Bellway at the end of the month. I did get a DM, and y'all never check my DMs on Instagram because there's hundreds, hundreds of companies that just randomly spam you stuff, and so I never check them. So I had to check them this time because I told um, the winners to DM me there during the live, but I noticed I had a ton of videos, and one person in particular said they tried the vanilla Bellway. It was nasty to them. What did they do? Um, I just use almond milk. I use the scoop from the vanilla, and I also, also use like a banana or strawberry. Like bananas make it creamy and sweet, add the add, uh, additional sweetness. So if you're one where you're trying this and this is new to you, you your palate's going to have to change for you to get used to like the taste of like more of the healthier foods, right? Um, I mean, it took me a while. It took my kids a while too to get adjusted to getting away from all that other sugar to getting to better, healthier you know, foods, but you know, those powders aren't for everyone in all honesty, right? Everything isn't for everyone. Everyone likes different things. I love the vanilla powder. Um, I mix it with uh, almond milk and frozen bananas or frozen strawberries, like frozen fruits. I don't just mix it with like just the milk. I don't do anything like that it's, except for the, um, the powder that's the, um, like the dietary fiber powders, I do that with water and that's it. But the other ones, I always make like really good smoothies out of them. So if you haven't tried the frozen fruit, get you a few bananas, freeze them and try them and let me know. Um, I'm going to try to message her. I just couldn't find a message after I opened it. It's so weird on my DMs. Um, cause I have to accept the messages before you reply to them and it just went. But, um, I'm so sorry for the late reply, but I try, I really am trying, um, and that's it. Um, thank you for all the prayers. I got a couple of emails on prayers. I appreciate it. A friend of mine will be laid to rest tomorrow. It's so sad. She was so beautiful. It's so sad to see her go. And um, I'm just having a hard time at um, showing up tomorrow. <laughs> because she will literally be laid to rest in the same spot my father was in. Same place. Her body will be sitting in the same spot for the week. And I, this is the most eerie thing for me right now. So if anything, I'll go and say hello to everyone. <laughs> Come on out, you know, pay your respects. But I just feel like I can't at this time. So I'm trying. Y'all keep praying for me. I'm trying to push through holidays. It's just really hard right now. That's why I booked like some trips for my kids and some fun things for us to do during the holidays. Because it's not just them getting their mind off of things and getting keeping them kind of like busy and whatever. Because really, and truly, um, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think I can handle it. <laughs> I mean, I can barely handle it myself. But to see them, I ain't going to do it right now. So I'm just trying to keep busy. So I have some videos coming for Saturday. Possibly one for tomorrow, too, which is Friday. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, the code for... Um, fragrance by Dicea. If you spend a hundred dollars, it's We Thrift. I will put my code down below for Dicea. I think it's Helen H10, but I'll put it down below for you all. Make sure you check out Dicea because those sets are really good. Um, yeah, instead of you know, you, you're already saving 20 bucks off the set, really, and then you're gonna go because I think the winner sets are like 138, I think they're 108 or something. Uh, so I think you might be saving more. I can't remember how much those are. But um, yeah, then you're going to use the discount code. <laughs>
girl. I'm just saying. And my stuff came quick this time. I was like, okay, Black Friday, y'all was waiting on us. <laughs> okay. I'm just waiting on this other company to send their stuff. Whenever it comes, we'll, we'll talk about it. If or if not, depends on how I feel. Because I ordered their stuff the same time I ordered everybody else's. And everybody else's stuff has already arrived. So... I'm about to go put my fragrances away and spray away and just start testing and sniffing and smelling as I normally do. And I will see you all. Oh, and I'll see you all probably tomorrow with a, a foodie video. I did um, grilled cheese sandwiches for the kids on Monday. Um, <laughs> girl, the kids right there are something else. But um, I did do that. I uploaded a TikTok on Instagram. You'll probably see it here. And then I did the, um, if I haven't deleted it, and then I did um, a stir fry for them with a teriyaki salmon. So I'll share that with you all tomorrow, if you all don't mind. And I will see you on the next one. Hope you have an amazing day. Peace and blessings.